Hi, I'm Don Pearson with Arizona AFO. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to take a cast using the STS casting sock. Our goal here at Arizona AFO is to provide you with the best fitting custom AFO possible. We need your goal to be to provide us with the best cast possible from which we can make that brace for you. It's a real simple procedure to come up with a cast that's aligned properly, is as high as we need it to be, at the proper angle, fairly smooth. We're going to show you how to do that so that you can provide us with a good cast and then we can provide you with a perfect fitting custom AFO. Something that is important to use is our footboard. You'll see here it's a piece of plastic. There's a 3 8 inch differential from the heel to the ball which is in what most shoes are. So when the brace is put inside the shoe it's at a 90 degree angle. We marked it with a piece of sticker here that says heel. That's where the patient's heel goes. This is the top. We do recommend you use a, a thin piece of foam. You can get it at a craft store or at an upholstery shop and you can place over the top. Then you take one of the bags that comes with the STS socks or you can use any other type of bag, any type of plastic shopping bag. Place it over the casting board in the foam. You can use this hundreds of times uh, without any damage being done over and over and over again you can use this without any problem and that's what the patient's foot now is going to be placed on and you'll see that in the casting video here. The different supplies you're going to need in order to take a cast include the STS sock, the plastic bag, the black flexible strip, the cutoff tube, some tape, the STS scissors, the letter opener, an indelible ink pencil, a thin piece of foam, a bucket with some water. While the patient is now seated with their foot placed on the footboard, the first thing that you do is attach this black strip, have the patient hold the top of it, and I put the distal end of it right at the toe crease. This can be then taped onto the leg. Well, it takes three pieces of tape. The next thing that's then taped on is this uh, tube, the cutoff tube. That's also placed in about the same area. Have the patient hold that end for you. I'm going to tape this on. like that. The next thing that's very important is the plastic bag that comes with the sock. This definitely needs to be used every time you use an STS sock. It goes next, this goes next to the patient's skin. It's extremely important that gets put on first before you apply the sock. That just goes on there. Now in the meantime I'm still watching to try to maintain that the hip, knee, ankle are all at 90 degree angles whenever possible. Now you'd need to put your gloves on. You have to use gloves with this casting material as it adheres to the skin very quickly and quite permanently. So then you've got your STS bag here that's got the sock in it. Whatever size is appropriate for your patient. It says open here, there's a little strip there. Open this up. Some of you that have been used to STS socks in the past, they used to be rolled up and now they're not. They're layered together and they're inside a piece of cellophane. You take that off and discard it. Now you have to kind of unwrap this in a way where this is folded over like that. You totally unfold it. Then you get to roll it up yourself as if you were going to roll up a sock to put on your child or, or yourself. You roll it up. It takes a little bit because the material is sticky, the resin. You just try to keep it as straight as possible. And you roll it up till there's about three inches or so of the sock left like this. 
That's then is dipped into the water, lukewarm water. For about 10 seconds. You squeeze all the water out. You'll see it's a lot more pliable now. But you have to act right away because the water starts activating the resin which sets it up and makes it hard. Slides it over the foot, have them lift their foot up. I'm slowly releasing some of the material of the sock as I go up. Okay. You go up the leg like this until it's all unraveled. Like that. I normally rub this so it rubs the material in as it starts to foam up a little bit. Now I place the leg back on the footboard and here again I'm going to check to make sure my alignments are where I want them to be. Now you do a massage the sock to make sure that all of the resin is being uh, rubbed into the material. You can define the arch, the medial longitudinal arch, by making sure you contour that with your hand. Rub in behind at the calcaneus. And also, I run my fingers on either side of the, the cutoff tube so that I can tell where that's at exactly. As that starts to set up, something that's very important to do is to use your STS scissors and just snip a little hole at the bottom of this cutoff tube. Like that. You can tell where that's at. Then use my indelible ink pen. And I draw some lines across here. Just These are for my own reference so I can tell when I go to put this back together again how to align it. Here again I'm checking this to make sure because sometimes things will move and just to look and make sure the patient isn't moving around. They should set up straight and not be bent over looking to see what you're doing so that you can maintain your proper alignment. It's always a good idea then to delineate any bony prominences or potential problem areas. This I normally mark the apex, you know, the malleoli so we can uh, build that up possibly the base of the fifth and the metatarsal heads. Also, any problem area that might be potentially an issue, I mark. You can use this pencil then to tap on here. Once you can kind of hear that it's setting up like that, what you want to do is pull this white tube out. Just pull that out like that. What that does, and so you can tell it still leaves a channel of where that was in the sock. You still have your protective black strip on there that's going to protect the patient's skin from when you go to remove this. This is all real time, so it only takes, you know, a couple minutes for that to set up. You then take your letter opener from Arizona AFO to do this. You place it down here at the bottom of that hole. Now I'm going to push towards this way and up and just go up the sock like this to cut that off. See how simple that was? Now I just open the sock up the rest of the way, meaning the bag. Have them lift their leg up, remove the board, twist this off, pull the bag out, comes out real easily. You can see this is now your finished sock. You can see how well that's defined at the arch and the back of the heel. It's at the angle that you want. You can use some rubber bands to lightly put this around here to line those lines back up and make sure it's all closed up. Let it sit for a few minutes and it's ready to ship.